came to see me about 12 months ago having had a stroke and this had taken the right half of his vision which was quite devastating. Okay, well we've done this before but what I'm going to do is to ask you to look at, we'll take that mark there and we want to find out the extent of the seeing area to the non-seeing area. So what I want you to do is to move, keep your eye on that, don't move yeah. your eyes and if I shine this light here I want you to tell me as soon as you can see. Right, you can see now already? I'm doing it again. No, I can't see there. Can't there, there. So tell me as soon as you can see it. Yeah. See? Well done. And here? No. Basically, I've got no right peripheral vision in either eye due to a stroke which killed the left hand side of my brain at the back, uh, which controls the right peripheral in both eyes. So, pretty much the right side of me uh, was gone. So, what we've got here is an area something like that where all this is in your in your blind area so what we've got is more vision above than below he'd been searching on the internet for quite some time before he found me but i'd been to some conferences in america and learned that we could move space using prisms and so when he arrived we tested his eyes he hadn't previously needed glasses, but we prescribed some glasses. And onto the lens, we stuck a prism. Yeah. Are you keeping fixing on the... I'm fixing on it, but I'm using what I do with the prism, because I fix on... You end up using both eyes. Yes. So one yes. eye's doing one yes. thing, and the other eye's doing another. So as you're going across, I see the an, starts of An it. awareness. Awareness, yes. which then makes my eye naturally move. Okay. Now, I can still see that... that black mark yes. there, yes. but I can still see, so it's like my left eye takes over looking forward and my right eye does the prism. The attention is elsewhere. Yeah, so it's basically double, you do two things at once. So this is what a prism is, it's a piece of glass that will move the image and you can see I've moved, I've moved down and I've moved to the side and we stick a flat form of this prism onto people's glasses which moves the image from the blind side into the sighted side. And the person has got to learn to recalibrate the brain so that they can process information from two different sources at the same time. This takes a lot of practice, but once it's achieved, it's a transformation, giving such a lot of hope to people who have previously had little hope for the future following a stroke. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So if we draw a line here, Something simple as, as, as a Where prism and it. some attention and, and, and somebody who's um, really, really interested in the field and wanting to help you. Um, together, you can basically sort of make pretty much wonders, really, for people. I can see the light fl flashing there yeah. and I'm looking at the dot. So as I'm looking at the dot and looking, your peripheral vision searches for what you can see. Uh -huh. It's like me doing that now. If I drop my eye, I can see that one and I can roughly see now that one. So I'm that eye, but as soon as it sees that, my eyes attracted towards move it. to see where yeah. it is, which is what- Which is the function of peripheral which vision. Which is what your peripheral it's, vision it, does. Yeah, that's right. So it's like, if I, if I turn around and go like that, and stay completely focused on that, yeah. even, if you haven't got, even if you have got peripheral vision, you're not gonna see a great deal because everything's going dink that way. I think way. It's, we're talking about attention yeah. as much as fixation. So, so you've like you, spread your attention away from the fixation point over to the periphery. Yeah. So, that so it does both. Yeah. If you've had a stroke, it's easy to become despairing and to think that nothing can be done. But it's very exciting to know that things can be done. Not only can we move the image with a prism stuck to the glasses, we can also go through exercises so that we can learn accurate eye movements. That's right. Now bring it, bring it closer towards you until you can see it. So this is without, without your glasses on. Okay. Okay. And if you pop your glasses on, fix on the him again. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Big difference, isn't it? Yeah. Massive difference. Let's put the extra prism on. Oh, and see what... <laughs> okay. Oh, Watch the him again. Oh. Take your finger out, out into the blind area. Take right out to the side. Okay. Here comes your extra prism. Yeah, don't move it. I'm not getting my brain working. Yeah. 
And if I take this away, you can't see it now? No. And you can now? Yeah. Yeah, so it does, it does widen it by, what, a couple of bricks, isn't it, really? Yeah. They do this in the United States, um, but in the UK, they don't seem to, it's not something they use, which is very strange, seeing as I mean, the prisons aren't, aren't a massive outlay of money um, for the quality they can actually give somebody. Um, so I think it's, it's something that they should look at. You've got to be open to actually do it and not think, but it should be here. Flexible no, it brain. It's Flexible got, brain. Yeah, it's got to uh -huh. be, you've got to work on it. It doesn't happen overnight. Um, to start off with, it's quite funny. Um, but the more you wear your glasses, the more you get used to doing it. It gives you back your life that you used to have. Obviously not 100%, but, I mean, even if it's 1%, I mean, I, I would recommend anybody to sort of give it a go. I mean, you can't lose. It's been interesting to explore the effects of stroke. And it's nice to know that there's hope for people who have these hemianopias, this vision loss, that things that can be done, we can help. And there's a lot of work to do from themselves to learn, to recalibrate the brain, to use the vision in a different way. But we can get there, and it's very exciting for the future. Part of my life, in a way, with my sight was gone. I mean, I didn't have a right peripheral vision. Um, it also was, not, it's not just my life, it's my family, because my wife, my children, my children basically found it very hard because we, I mean, me and my lad play a lot together. Um, we couldn't play a lot because, like cricket, I couldn't play cricket because the ball kept it to me in the head. Um, playing football, that sort of stuff. With the vision now, we can play and we can mess around and he's got his old dad back. <laughs>